Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are jumping in once again. Let's bring up the randomizer and see who we might get. Oh, we got Eden again. Do you know, as much as I like variety, Eden's just hella fun. Eden's just the character that you want to see. Um, and we start with Tech Baby and the Razor. I have to say, the Razor is of course just utter trash. Uh, we're basically never going to use it. Um, maybe we could use it to get into some uh, other rooms if we get some soul hearts. But Tech Baby, Tech X Baby, whatever you want to call it, very, very, very useful. Um, pretty decently strong. Um, and yeah, I just like it. Anyways, we've also got uh, an absolutely styling haircut. And <laughs> the spicy health down to start. You've got to... You've got to appreciate the health down to start. But yeah, uh, getting this is going to be really, really good. Um, this little tech baby is going to help us out a bunch. Let's try this crash game. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I gambled. I gambled. <laughs> I gambled we wouldn't crash. And guess what? We crashed. But, but, guess what this lets us do? Guess what this lets us do? <laughs> it lets us be an absolutely cheeky fuck and not take that health down bill this time. <laughs> Oh god, that is uh, that is quite the cheekiness that we've got here. But uh, yeah, unfortunately uh, that happened. We actually have started with not amazing stats here. Our damage is pretty decent, but our speed and fire rate leave something to be desired at least. Um, but yeah, starting off with Tech Baby here is going to be great. So we don't need to open that other chest this time. We did get an item here. Ooh, and it's Fate. Do you know, Fate's one of these items that I feel like I'd never see anymore. I feel like Fate is just a really, really rare um, golden chest item. I don't know if it has lower weight, but to be fair, I, I wouldn't blame it if it did because it is flight. And I mean, flight is one of those things that I feel like it kind of, it kind of comes m in most runs in some form or another, but it rarely ever comes early. So, getting it early is actually going to be huge for us here, I think. Um, very happy to see it. Ooh, really don't want to lose my Eternal Heart here, so I'm kind of trying quite hard to not lose it. Um, we, we know that this isn't a health down, so we'll take it. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. the LSD baby. Of course, it's Cast of the Blind, so we're going to be picking up some unknown unknown things here, but we'll, uh, we'll see how that goes. It might end up being terrible for us. It might be absolutely fine. Honestly, I'm not even looking at my tiers at the minute. I'm purely focusing on the damage from Tech X Baby. Our tiers really don't matter. Tech X Baby is love. Tech X Baby is life. Uh, there you are. Shop isn't really very valuable here. There's a heart there. I honestly don't know what type of heart that is. <laughs> Seems to be a red heart. Um... Yeah, so a little bit of a shame that that chest isn't really going to go anywhere for us. I think, I think I know where my secret room is, so I'm going to try and make that work. One great thing here is it's piercing and it's spectral, so we can actually utilize our flight and tech X baby to stay reasonably safe there. Uh, so we'll take it no matter what. Ooh, okay. So I was going to say we'll take it no matter what, but we, we still will because we know that it's land and mishap now. It's actually kind of useful there. I didn't realize it was a mimic, but... That helps. Yeah, I think it's here. I think it's here. Um, Lemon Mishap, it isn't good, but at the same time, it also isn't terrible. Uh, ooh, that's a pretty good item. Um, so this item is going to give us uh, coins on the floor for one will fear enemies, which is kind of nice. But the bigger thing, the more important thing, is the higher our coin count, the lower our fire rate. Uh, sorry, the faster our uh, fire rate gets. The better our fire rate gets, should I say. Um, I was hoping you kind of dive into this Lemon Mishap here. It was Bit of a whiff, really. I mean, honestly, this Dumpy is uh, scaring the bejeebus out of me right now. He's so so <laughs> He's just so silently waiting, patiently, to absolutely screw me. I want my eternal heart. Don't make me lose it. Okay, while he's up against a wall here, our tech um, X baby's going to be doing absolutely great. Of course, we all we all know how to dodge this turdy fella by now. We don't need to. Uh, Go over the whole circling method again. Oh, no. That was a terrible hit. So close to him being dead as well. It's fine. We got a soul heart. And actually, we got another soul heart from Latchkey there. Do you know what? We have so many hearts and flight. I actually think that the that downpour is one of the flaws that um that really does well when you have flight. Um, there's, there's a lot of rooms that have consumables over rocks. Uh, which obviously in the second floor doesn't matter because you get you get flight in the mirror dimension, but 
Do you know, Flush is actually pretty good. Flush is actually pretty good. I am very much tempted by it. Hmm. I'm going to go random. Okay, I'm actually really happy I did. I was very apprehensive there, but your listen's actually so much better. And, I, like, it's a good active, but we already have an active. Oh, God, I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. Tech baby, save me. Will I ever learn how to fight those flies properly? Who knows? I'm a bit apprehensive of dice room, I'll be honest. But we'll see. We'll see. There you go. Ooh, skip. Okay, we can use a skip card. That's that's probably going to be used for our boss. I think it works on bosses. I can't remember. But yeah, even just rooms like this where we get to uh, kind of chill out a little more and... Uh, and stay above the gaps. That's another thing about our Tech X, baby. you got to remember, it's also got infinite range, which is huge. Hugely important. Of course, all Tech Lasers do have infinite range, but just the fact that we have... Both flight and, and some form of infinite range here is is very, very good. Okay, so apparently these uh, fireflies don't swarm around leeches. Did not know that. Where's our item room at, though? Ooh, one moment. I've got a, a message from work. My goodness. Let me just grab that. Okay, good, good. One second. Okay, we're good to go. Let's keep on moving. Got boss here. We'll try and um, go to our other rooms first and try and find our second secret room because we've apparently not found that yet. I think your listen is, is on the case already. Look, he knows what it is. Your listen's just great. Uh, ooh, that is awesome. That is so very nice. Do you know what could be interesting here, actually? Skip plus lemon mishap could potentially be the way to go here. I don't know if this guy technically flies. I think he does, to be honest. Looks like he does, yeah. But this is still a very, very positive um, setup here. I gotta say, it does look like he flies. Some enemies, though, Isaac's deceptive in that way. There's a lot of enemies that look like they fly, but don't. There's a good few of them. So Isaac can be deceptive in that way. So you can't always go based off of what the enemy looks like. You've got to kind of test it out and figure it out a little bit. But it's not as if it's a waste of long mishap. And the uh, enemy skip turn card was still appropriately used, I think. It's still, uh, it still saved us a bit of time. I just didn't even move there. I just didn't even bother to move. I don't know why, but I didn't. All right, good, good. All bandage is fine. I think we're probably good to go for the devil deal, I'll be honest. This is a good devil deal as well. Okay, I... I think we go relatively whole hog on this bad boy. Yeah. I'm going whole hog on that bad boy. I know that seems risky, and it puts our health in a very dire situation, but now we can get future angel deals. The the red ghost things are great. Gasoline's great. This uh, one that gives us damage on kill is very, very good. I just think this is all round going to lead to some very good stuff for us. And as well, we can blow up this. Beautiful. To get a few coins, which is going to give us a fire rate increase. You see? It just... I, I really like... I can't remember what it's called. It's called Purgatory, maybe? It's not Purgatory, is it? Uh, the one with the red ghost. I think the one with the red ghost is such a good item. Okay, we've got our next uh, secret room here. Good, good. More bombs. We could definitely go to mines if we were so inclined. Destroy you at least as well. Okay, I think Dross is definitely one of the laggier flaws on um, on modding. Hopefully it's not too distracting for you guys. But it's definitely one of the laggier flaws because there's a lot of visual effects going on all the time. Oh, we got Small Rock. Hell yeah. Fire rate increase and damage increase are both very, very useful for us. We've managed to not get hit this floor as well, which is great. Um, probably want to go to our shop. I mean, we haven't even seen our item room yet. We've got a temperance card as well. We'll see if we want to end up using that. But yeah, every time we get a kill, we're getting a pretty big damage increase here. And just, I think the damage that, like, that we have affects the ghost's damage. 
Oh, we've got the Henry enemies here. We'll try, yeah, I guess we actually managed to take him out relatively efficiently, I'll be honest. And there you go, the ghosts are back in town. Doing their thing. We've got plenty of money as well. Not great. I'd rather bomb that if I can. I don't know. Like, it's kind of a it's kind of a two-edged double-edged sword here, because if we spend our money, we are gonna lose some fire rate. But do we really want to spend the money? Probably not a great idea, to be honest. And here we've got this, which is damage up makes tiers vary a bit. Okay. <laughs> damage up, down, whatever. Yeah, basically uh, our tier damage can vary from certain amounts to certain other amounts. It's not bad. It's not great. It's it's fine. It is technically a damage up overall, so I don't really mind. I still need to figure out how to have my map on without the timer on. I still don't really know how to do that. There's definitely a way to do it. I did it the other day. There you go. It's a bit buggy sometimes, but I did it. Right, let's fight the boss. Okay, another boss that, that unfortunately we're not really going to get much out of uh, this, but I'm liking the little fires we're leaving. That's going to be helpful on this boss. In fact, you're going to be jumping all over those fires. And now we can take either or. Now, I think with our current HP, Angel Deal is just completely the right idea. So we'll check Angel Deal. And we get the Star of Bethlehem, which I think is just amazing for us. Um, I'll take a pill. It's perks. And I was going to go mines. Right now we don't have the bombs. Uh, so I will duck out and we'll um, go somewhere else for a bit. But this is a very, very cool run for modding. Uh, like we've got a lot of cool modded stuff going on right now. Star Bethlehem, I'm probably going to kind of play it more as if it's just like a, help, a helping hand during the boss rather than anything else. Good, we'll uh, come back. But you see what I mean? I've already got up to three fire rate. And I'm only at a very small amount, really. Realistically, a very small amount of money. Um, we could get quite a lot more on top of this than we actually already have. So that would be really nice. I'm absolutely loving this, this sort of, like, waterfall effect we've got going on right now. We truly have a very, very good setup. Like, our damage keeps skyrocketing up a little bit. And it's, of course, progressing for the rest of the floor as well. We get a little bit of damage permanently for the whole floor. I think that's affecting our ghosts as well. We got a planetarium on a 1% chance. And Jupiter? Uh, Jupiter's not great. Do you know what? I'll wait and just see, potentially, if I get a reroll. I'm unlikely to. Jupiter isn't bad. Especially now they turn down the fart effect sound. Especially considering it's plus two heart containers as well. Um, so it's not terrible. But if I can reroll it, I'd rather... Not not only because there's better planetarium items, but also because there's modded planetarium items we could end up finding. That we are yet to see. Oh, that was a bad hit by me there. So I'm just going to hang about a little bit. See if I somehow get some sort of reroll. Whether that be dice shard a way to spawn a restock machine an item could potentially do it for us step into the poison do you know what bob's rotten head is thoroughly better very much so i really like bob's rotten head a lot on a two room charge as well especially hell yes oh god there was a pin in there that was a very rude pin. Even with flight, I couldn't really avoid that. Devil card versus Temperance. Temperance is fine, but we've not really got the uh, ability to utilize it properly right now, so I don't really care for it too much. Okay. Children's Fund. We keep getting this item, Children's Fund. It's, it's fine, but it's not great. I suppose being able to get extra money is nice, though. Okay, nice. As soon as we get one kill, the rest of the room's just wham bam, thank you, ma'am. I will definitely check out our our shop, even though I really rather not spend my money. There is set definitely certain items I would like to purchase. I honestly think this is one of them. And do you know what? We've actually got a good opportunity to give Mr. Monchi some food. 
because we can go and give him Lemon Mishap, and he will give us another Deliverance item. And considering some of the Deliverance items can be quite good, we've already got two of them in play right now, I believe. Uh, gasoline and the, the Skull thing are both um, items from that mod, I think. I think the Hot Milk is also as well. I think we've got quite a lot of them today. Um, but we can feed you this and be quite happy with it. Increased health and damage of friendly charmed monsters gives you a chance to randomly charm. There you go. That was weird. We, we, we managed to bomb it without bombing it. I'm going to bomb it one more time. I just want a little bit more fire it. Get us back up to uh, the golden number. We're going to be going back anyway, so I won't take Bob's Rotten Head quite yet. There you go. We charmed that dude and he has more health. We've got a secret room there. We'll uh, we'll pop into that for a second in a moment. I'm liking this. Extra charmed enemies. They've got extra health. That's always good to me. That was close to me getting hit there. Wow. Okay. Good stuff. Another one of those chests. We need a bit more HP. I think we're going to have to take Jupiter for that reason. I did not mean to pop that there. God damn, our character is looking gnarly. Also. Hmm. I think we take number magnet here. Prevents Krampus from appearing. I think that's good stuff. Yeah, I think that's the best one here. Yeah. Cool. That seems good to me. Right. Let's go back. Take our temperance. We'll take Jupiter. We're going to have to. We're unlikely to get a reroll, but also... Also, we just kind of need the HP. We're going to be farting all over, all over the world. But yeah, someone needs to draw the character prior to me picking up... Um, what's it called? My character looks so evil. It was, when, oh, it was when I used the devil card, wasn't it? So we'll grab this. Be an absolute fart machine. And also... We get the beautiful looking little fat wings. I love it. The wings are the best. So yeah, of course our speed is going to kind of drastically take a hit here. Most of the time we're moving, we're going to be at 0 0.65 speed, which is pretty horrible. It's mainly due to small rock piling onto this, uh, this setup, but eh, it's the way the cookie crumbles. I think number magnet could end up being very good for us. I'm going to go to a devil deal uh, this time if we get one. Right, let's pick up these double hearts wherever they are. Okay, there they are. Good, good. Yeah, we're probably going to take a hit or two here. Because I'm playing this a bit like a moron. There you go. Good, good. Ah, sadly no devil deal. We did get a black heart though, that's kind of nice. And we do have enough bombs to go mines. Do you know what? Why not? I think we're in a, a, a pretty decent position to take on some of the more difficult floors. And I've been trying to go to the alt path floors, even when not necessary, a lot more often. Just because they're fun and I don't want to exclude them. Um, I don't want to, like, sort of purposely not go to them sort of thing. We've also got a, what seems to be a crawl space here. Yeah, there you go. Come on, ghosty boy. Buy items. Do you know what? No, 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 no. We don't want that. We don't want that. We don't want to be in decks. We want as much money as possible to get fire rate increases. It's just, it's very anti-synergy for us right now to take that. Oh, this guy got charmed. Nice. With, he won't stick with us until the next room, will he? He'll, he'll only be in this room. I'm fairly sure. Oh, no, he sticks with us. That's great. This dude's charmed as well. We are getting an army going. Holy hell. I'm actually quite liking this uh, this charmed penny thing. It's going well. Just look at what's going on right now. Some very crazy stuff is going on right now. He's going to end up killing some of these dudes, but... Okay. So I think we, I think we take the health and we go devil deal. 
Just because we got number magnet, we're likely to get better stuff. I mean, I wouldn't exactly say this was amazing. Good. Although, we did just get that. I think Flyboy is decent enough. We're, we're early enough into the game for Flyboy to be pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, t I'll take Little Abaddon. It's not the best, but I'll take it. Right. Let's go. I'm really, really hoping for a very, very solid speed upgrade. In fact, I'm even going to take pills in the uh, in the hopes of getting that. We did just lower our range to a pretty pathetic level there. Oh my god, these enemies. My damage is actually not great right now. Uh, sadly, that's not very good for us. Halo flies is is whatever. We'll check our shop nonetheless here. I don't really want to go for much more of a reroll than that, so I'm just going to bomb. 7.5. Uh, 4.5 fault there would have been pretty good. Uh, I'll take this. Got a full card there as well. Yeah, this speed is a bit painful. I'm having a, a bit of a hard time here. Do we really... I don't think we really need to explore this floor much more. Uh, although we haven't seen secret rooms yet. So, okay, no, there, there you go, there you go. Like I said, as long as we find at least one secret room, I'll be happy. Two of swords. Two of swords. And I don't think second secret room's anywhere along here, so I'm not that bothered about that. Let's just, let's just skadaddle, skadoodle. I don't know why I said it in that accent, but it's been done. It has been done. Right, maybe we want to follow the star this time, just to speed up the rooms a little bit. Because we've already got low speed, so we're already going slow. We might as well get the stats for it. There you go. You see that enemy being feared by the penny? Pretty cool. The farts are everywhere. Extra bombs. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of just blazing past the star, I'll be honest. Ooh, it's a rainbow dude. Rainbow poop pin. Which way are you gonna go? Which way are you gonna go? Which way are you gonna go? Straight, straight across. Okay. Gotta remember, there's a one room charge now. That is a lot of hearts. What in the hell? I really think, rep like, this may sound like really harsh, and I really hope it doesn't come across in the wrong way. But I really think Repentance Plus needs to like rethink the things that they've added to the game thus far. They're all really cool, but basically none of them seem balanced. <laughs> like, really at all. Like, the there's a black heart that just gives you damage. There's this, which just seems to be like a bunch of red hearts. There's the um, soul heart that opens up locks by the looks of things. There's the tinted... Spiked rocks that seem relatively common. It, it might just be a case of rebalancing the chances, but they all seem extremely powerful thus far, which is... It's not a great thing. It I, Like, I, personally, I really like to keep the balance of the game pretty close to what the vanilla game offers to not make it too easy or too hard. And I wouldn't exactly say it's making it a lot easier, but especially things like the glitched hearts. I think they make the game significantly easier. <laughs> Because, like, you find one of them and it's like, well, here's two soul hearts and a black heart. Or here's, like, a golden heart and two rotten hearts. And it's like, that that's powerful stuff. You're giving the players a lot there. A lot on a lot. And I really think it's it's somewhat a bit too much sometimes. I mean, like, even a secret room like this is a bit much. I got a blank rune. We got a moon card. We got a world card. We got a lovers. We got a sun card. Suck it. <laughs> now we got, like, a mega abyss card here. Sure, let's just pop it. <laughs> of course, it crashed the game. One moment. Okay, we're back in it. We're going to have to restart the floor again, as always. Because uh, that crashed the game. But it, it, look, as I was saying, glitched heart. That gave us a bunch of red hearts and a black heart. They're just very, very, very strong. And they seem to have a reasonably high chance for replacing. In fact, let's take a little look. Can we... Um... Oopsie. Don't know what happened then. Um... Okay. 
Apparently this fly counts as an enemy and therefore won't let me keep this menu open. That's kind of annoying. Um, it doesn't look like Repentance Plus has a menu. It'd be nice if it did. Just to kind of tweak the chances myself of those things that I feel are a bit too strong. I don't know what the chances are at the minute. But I hope they do an update soon to just tweak those and change them around a little bit. Make them a little more... Uh, a little more on par with some of the some of the rarer events in the game, some of the rarer items in the game. Kind of feels like I'm getting them a lot on a lot right now. Okay. Right, so we, we know that both the secret rooms on this floor are kind of ass. That other one with all the cards is decent, but um, we don't want to use the scratch card. <laughs> I hope the, uh, the Epic Hacker devs... Uh, by the way, I'm saying this with the scratch cards. There's a good chance the scratch cards are fixed by the time you're watching this. Um, just because this is pre-recorded for, like, while I'm at home over Christmas. So I do, I do hope that that gets changed, but we'll see. Right. Get a free D-Infinity here. Um, what we got here? Spawn one of each type of beggar. I don't know why that spawned two of you guys. Magician. Take that back. Black rune. Wait, what? You can give me a black rune. I can't give him it back. That's a d20 at least. Uh, I'll prop. I will probably... Do you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll keep the d20 there for now. Full card. World card. Two of swords. Gonna keep playing this guy. By the way, these guys are apparently getting a rework soon as well. They're a bit overpowered at the minute. Rules card. Definitely giving you that one back. Just a way of trading cards at the minute, but it's so strong. And the fact that they pairs out with dice is like insane. It should not pay out with dice. Solar cane there, lovely. Give him the justice. And now the hermit. There's another dice. Right. Now let's, um... Let's bomb all of y'all. I know this is going to create a bunch of troll bombs. Okay. We've got another hero font here, so we'll pop that. Then we will grab this, grab all the money, and the bomb. Do you know what? No, let's, let's just, let's just do that. We, unfortunately, we can't keep the solar cane, so we might as well, oh, we can't even use it in here. Okay, it doesn't matter then. Let's, let's just take the D12 and then pop it, get a heck load of stats. That was overpowered as shit, that was. <laughs> was so, so dumb. We just got a ton of stats. None of which were speed, by the way. A ton of stats and, like, no downsides whatsoever. Yeah, th those card beggars are getting reworked. They're part of their Ipecac at the moment, and the devs are aware of how stupendously overpowered they are. Is it, uh, to be fair, it's not even that they're overpowered. It's more that they just don't make sense. <laughs> like, you give them a card. They immediately give you a card back. You just play it until you get a better card or a dice. It's like, an, like you cannot... Basically, it's impossible for them not to pay out unless you get a rune. So yeah, they are, they are going to be tweaking and changing those, uh, those uh, beggars. Because they're, they're a bit busted at the minute. They don't really make a lot of sense as they are right now. God, this charming thing is insanely powerful. For a tier 1 item. It's doing very well. Pause button, unfortunately, doesn't do much for us. Tear detonator is not really our gambit either. Waker Oats. Rain rocks from the sky. While held, range rocks in combat. Rocks have your tear effects. That sounds pretty cool. I'm going to take that. Ooh. I'll also take that.
And ooh, I'll also take that. There you go. <laughs> Just absolutely obliterated the game in like three simple steps, pretty much. I uh, managed to increase my damage and stats by a ton uh, using a black rune and a bunch of card beggars. Got an active that seems incredibly cool and doubled my damage. This is a very, very good run. I'm very much enjoying this. Also... I only hit one of them. Okay. The fact that these have our tier effects is really cool too. Okay, this is red mum, I just realised. Haha! -ha. Mask of Infamy effect. Gotcha! Yeah, and the fact that this active has a passive effect of raining rocks too. Pretty cool. Secret room, go. We have a lock key, so let's go for this. We've managed to push it over the gap. I'll definitely take that. Okay, we're all out of all out of luck with that thing. Actually, no, we're not. Okay. There you go, poker chips. Oh, that was a lot of extra luck. Do you know what? Straight to the boss. Whoa, this guy's we've got some big maggots with him. But guess what? One of them's our friend. Oh my god. <laughs> We have just created such an amazing run. This run is absurd. And I love it. These are the modded runs that just make me smile. I mean, gold... I, I still stand by, and by the way, yet again, another item that is bound to be nerfed. The devs have already said that it will be. Um, it's kind of absurd how good um, golden champion belt is. It's definitely getting nerfed. I asked the devs about it, and they said yes, because it's, yeah, it's just real strong. More fire rate, nice. Like you get, like not only do you get double damage, but every enemy is now a champion, so every enemy gives champion drops. Oh, look how much we got in this room from those enemies being champions. We even got an item out of killing an enemy, basically. At the end of the day, I'd say that's pretty strong. I'm actually going to do Hush here, I think. Angel or Devil Deal? We've got number six. I'm still going to take Devil Deal here. It's actually, unfortunately, not very good. Unfortunately, it ain't what I want to see. Unfortunately. Right. Parasite, hell yes. Also, we got um, your listen here, so that'll be good to find the thingy. The spin down dice. Hmm. I'm gonna grab spin down, and I'm gonna see if I want to use it on anything now. Try sag. We could get try sag. Oh my god. Mm, probably not a good idea, really. I don't know what this card is. What's this card? Demon form. Increases your damage for every new uncleared room you enter. That's kind of cool. It doesn't really work on this floor, but it's kind of cool. I'll, I'll hold on to it. I'll definitely take the stopwatch. I could definitely get Trisag, but I think I'd break the game, so I'm not going to bother. And then I think what we do is, we do the boss fight with this. And then we come back and get spin down. Also, did we find the uh, crawl space? No, no crawl space. Oh wait, are you going towards something? Maybe? No, you're not. Sometimes it's in the shop. Nope. No crawl space for us this time. Ooh, now we got red rocks. With parasite on them. Oh, this is going to be laggy as shit, isn't it? <laughs> 
I apologize in advance. Oh, we can use it again? What? Why am I able to keep using it? What broke? Why do I have infinite charges on my active? It's meant to be a three room charge. Hmm. I don't know what's happened there. Okay, there you go. It stopped now. Oh god, the lag. <laughs> god, I, I... Mods are the best thing ever on Isaac. But god damn, I wish the lag wasn't anywhere near as bad as it is. It's so terrible. You use like three content mods and the game just shits its pants. This fight's gonna last forever. Just because of the lag. Because we're playing at like half speed. You should be fine for the fight though. We've got enough health and everything and damage. Come on, big fella. Use that fart power. Oh my god. Good amount of damage with our um our Abaddon, baby. A little Abaddon. He's pretty good. Oh my lord. I'm being ravaged by lag. What where where are all these batteries coming from? What do I have that's doing that? <laughs> I genuinely have no idea what's going on right now. <laughs> Oh god. I I genuinely don't know where all these batteries are coming from. I like it, but I don't know where they're coming from. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to start using the rest of my bombs here to try and finish this guy off a bit quicker. We're probably going to get hit here, yeah. You can just tell with that attack. It always hits. These bombs should significantly speed up the fight a little bit, though. We have taken a lot of damage here. What, what's making me drop so many hearts as well? Old bandage, maybe? Do I have old bandage? I do. Still, though. Don't know what's going on with the battery charges. Kind of incre incredible how many we're getting. Oh my god, I've actually taken an absurd amount of damage here. We might have to start using these red hearts soon. This is just a really horrible fight, to be honest. Like, he's just doing all of his worst attacks back to back to back. Okay, he's, he's done at least. That was, that was pretty painful, though. Right, back through. Let me go grab spin down. Also, why, where were you, Star of Bethlehem? Let's use it on this. Uh, oh, that's an active. Plus one burn heart, summons burn spares, may grant burn orbitals. That's pretty cool. I mean, to be fair... We can have birth. So why not? <laughs> why not have birth? Ooh! I'm a dumbass. Wait a minute. Damn, I should have left school bag in here. I could have got like Hemolacter or whatnot. Damn, there's no items now. Fuck! I really balls that up, didn't I? Heck! I had the ability to do some crazy shit there and I just but absolutely fumbled it. I didn't think about how many battery charges were in here. That's fine, whatever. Uh we took Polaroid, let's go up. That's a bit of a shame. I didn't I didn't think about the fact that we had a ton of battery charges in there. We could have got some interesting items out of that. Whoa, why do I have so much speed? Whoa, what the fuck? Why did that guy like a million miles an hour? I'm so fast now, what happened? This is confusing. I suppose Stopwatch gave me a bunch of speed? Oh no. I might die. Considering how confident I was just like two seconds ago, I could die.
Right, good, good. Where you at, big boy? We're actually doing great damage to him, to be fair, so we should be fine on that front. I keep forgetting I got stopwatch. Okay, good. Go to the normal floor. Use our demon form card on this floor. We got Beelzebub. Nice. Goddamn, we look horrific. We can get Brimstone. And Tooth and Nail's fine. Let's try and get Brimstone, shall we? If we're going to be getting all these battery charges from killing enemies too, pretty good. Oh, Magic Fingers has a new sprite. Since when? I do not know. Whoa, did all of those charm? What the hell? Sacrificial blood. Oh, Beelzebub is what's doing this. Holy Light is probably a little bit better, so I'll, uh, I'll keep that there for now. This is kind of crazy. Oh, shit. I should not have gone to this room. In fact, before this room's over. Oh, I can't bomb my way out on this floor. I'm stupid. another battery. Do I have like a charmed battery enemy or something? I don't know what's going on here. This is this is some wacky stuff. Right. Spin that down again. Spawn some burn spares. Why not? No battery charges in this room, though. There's a hell of a lot of ghosties. A hell of a lot of ghosties. My lord. <laughs> How are they not all dead? Look at this. We managed to get one of these invincible dudes as well, which is pretty insane. These guys are really great. They, they stop us from getting hit, and they stop the, the uh, familiars that we have from getting hit, too. Dad's key? Bit of Mega Satan action if we want it. Still no key drops. Still no key drops. This guy's charmed now as well. What on earth? This is such a mess, and I love it. Right, give me that brimstone. <laughs> Cheeky little brimstone there. That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it. Whoa. God damn you, this annoying ass enemy. Wait, there's a small guy too, I didn't realize. This is such an annoying room, please stop. Oh my god, come on. Oh wait, does that our tech baby has brimstone too? That's a cool little synergy there. Look at this little dude. Pop your head up, you fool. There you go. We are looking gnarly right now. Oh, come on. Stop being such an ass hat. This is just dumb. Why? Thank you. Oh my god, I've been only been waiting 16 years. Deck of cards. I'll at least pop deck of cards here. Hanged man. Great. Oh, God. A tough room. Right. We had holy light on one of these rooms. I can't remember which one it was. Was it one above? Yeah, holy light here. I'll take holy light. Okay, mini battery in here as well. Good, good. 
We have a lot of luck right now, so we're going to get a lot of Holy Light shots, which is awesome. Oh, oh my god, how was I meant to not get hit there? For some reason, I didn't expect that to happen the way it did. Right, what else do we want to spin down right now? Oh, we well, have a key. Let's quickly go back to our starting room. Don't care about you. Don't care about that. Don't care about that. Crack this bad boy open. Sadly, don't care about that either. Damn, um, a lot of stuff I don't care about spinning down right now. Hmm. At least we actually get Brimstone not spin down. It's always fun. That's kind of always the goal. Rubber cement brimstone. Hell yeah. Oh, it's one of my secret rooms. A few soul heart spiders in here. God damn, I could spin it down into the D100. Mmm. Mmm, that would take some convincing, I think. Wouldn't be the best of shouts, I don't think, right there. Let's pop this. Oh, that's not very good either for us, really. I just learned these guys take red health first as well, which is nice to know. Did not know that initially. God damn, with rubber cement, this thing's amazing. Oh, it works with a little tech baby too. That's so cute. A skull X in this room. God damn the holy light beams. Oh wait, we have another, uh, wait. We have a chest in here apparently? Okay, we do, yeah. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Extra fire it. And I think we need to go back over to our starting room and open the last remaining golden chest. Oh, did not mean to say it slipped rib, but there you go, we have it now. Not like it's a bad thing to take, to be honest. Ugh. Yeah, not, not really great stuff here. Not really great stuff here. Kind of hoping we get Void now to do some spin down shenanigans. Spin down shenanigans are always fun. Also, this run is just supremely powerful. Explosivo is definitely a take. Ooh, Glyph is pretty good. Let's take Glyph, just in case we end up getting, um, getting to Void. Did not think about that. No Void thus far. Satan may provide. Do not worry, Satan may provide. Let's see. Shall he be our hero, baby? Go, Satan, go. Help us all you can. Oh my god, yeah, we are gonna wreck this man. With Rubber Cement as well, we're hitting, bef like, behind us too easily. And all these ghosties as well. Look at that! I didn't even shoot and all those died. Look at the health bars. Look at the health bars. Oh my lord. This is so much damage. So much sweet, sweet damage. Please give me void. Please give me void. Right. I don't know where my poopy friend came from here, but I'll, I'll accept him for who he is. There's another one. There you go, two of the fellas. Oh, one of them died. <laughs> They're spawning purgatory ghosts, though, so I cannot be upset at all. 
God damn, the damage here is absurd. Even through the boss armor, we are just destroying this guy so hard. Come on, please give us Void. It would make me so happy. We got Void. Hell yes. We can spin it down like the best of them. I just want to do some absolute spin down shenanigans. That's all I want. Okay, so this is actually good because we might be able to get a... Uh, yes, Emperor card. That's what we want. Ow. Uh, just so we can get out of the Delirium boss fight if we enter it by accident. That's really good. Hopefully we can find a boss without wasting too many charges here. Would be nice to have mapping, actually, so that we didn't waste too many charges, but it's just kind of, it is what it is at the minute. Okay, here's some bosses here. Good. Okay, Blast Assist. What you got for us? Unfortunately, not great. I'll spin you down at least once into this. Right, let's go check out the other bosses first. Squeezy. Not really what we're looking for either. I really want one of those things again that just gives us a ton of batteries. Where did that come from? I want that set up again. Wait, no, isn't Emperor... Mm, Emperor might not be the teleport card we want here. I don't really think about this. Emperor won't teleport us out of the Delirium fight. It'll teleport us into it. Papa Fly into Head of the Keeper seems pretty interesting. I'm going to keep the coins on the floor in case I can... Oh my god. In case I get like a trinket that works well with that. Hello, Blurt. Goodbye, Blurt. Lil Chest, we can definitely do that two times to get it into Incubus. That doesn't really help us all that much. It's a pin. The lamb? Blue baby and the lamb. Gotta fight them both, apparently. This is such a strong run, it's insane. Ah, that's not really very good either, is it? I'm big sad on some of these setups. Still, leave the, leave the pennies about. I know we can get fire rate off of them. But I really think we're better off leaving them in case we got like a charged penny or something. Charged penny could be super clutch. Uh, basically, I'm trying to fish for like an R key or something crazy. <laughs> you never know. You got to fish. There's a palsy in here as well, the hell? I did not see you. Right, let me go back and get my Incubus. Can't remember which one it was, actually. I think it was... Ah, oh, there you go. You can see it's the one with the item still in it. Keep it going. I'm glad we got speed now as well. <laughs> that makes me a bit more happy. Right, was this one worth it, I think? Yeah. You can get Incubus here. And that gives us Conjoined. Oh, yes. Look at the beauty of this. Conjoined is the best. You cannot fathom this pure beauty that we bestow upon your eyes every time we shoot. I love it. Every time we enter a room, the crosshatch begins. 
Oh, hello, you. You stinker. You big, big stinker. This is going to be the longest room ever. I just... Y'all motherfuckers need to stop designing enemies that have invincibility. That don't open on a set timer. Because it's hella annoying. Beautiful. Oh, we got a thingy heart there as well. Glitch heart. Good, good. Wait, there's an enemy still alive in here? How? It's still alive? Oh no, it's charmed. Ow. Rainbow chest! This could be just what we need. Sci fly! Okay, 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 okay. Okay, right. I gotta go take a look at some stuff. Right. First of all, um, Platinum God. Right. Sci fly. Sci fly has an ID of five eight one. Uh, a five five eight one. Okay. So we can't get our key from that. What can we get from it, though? Sci fly itself is pretty good. We could see. Maybe we just. Grab the red key. I think we probably just grab the red key. And play around with that a bit. Binky? I'll just take Binky. I don't know where Red Key is going to be usable here, to be honest. <coughs> Probably not around here. Another Soul Heart there. Yeah, where is Red Key going to be usable? I'm not seeing anywhere thus far. Like, literally nowhere. What the hell? Okay, Red Key. And there's a battery charge. I'll give it to that. Okay. Some intriguing stuff could happen here. Another glitched heart. What the hell? See, there's two overpowered. There's two good. Go through this. Oh, these things have so much HP. Luckily, we're charming a few of them here and there. Boom. Pentagram isn't going to be able to spin. We need something above like 600 ID. It's kind of hard to find an Arky spin down target, to be honest. Okay, this is the Delirium fight. I just want to check my Emperor card. Okay, it does take me to another one. Good to know. Unfortunately, it's one very, very far away. But it does take me to another one. Good to know. Come around here. Go back this way a bit. See if there's anything over here. Spin down's on a charge right now. Be nice to get some use out of that. God damn, the amount of charm enemies we have right now is absurd. We have an absolute army. You're not taking my spin down, heck you. Stay away from my spin down dice. You might want it, but you cannot have it. 
Every time I enter a room, it just spreads out into a mess of, en of uh, like, friendly enemies. It's great. Sadly, we are wasting precious charges here. Not really been doing all so well on the red key stuff either. There's meant to be a hand coming down at some point in this room. Don't know where that's meant to be. There it is. It was there briefly. I saw it. <laughs> I promise. Come on. Give me some red key shenanigans, please. Okay, there's another red key usage. That's our delirium room right there. Oh my god. I feel like I'm moving so slowly right now. Whenever I'm like in that pit event of uh, friendly enemies, it's just lag city. We got a charge there for some reason. Not quite sure why. What on the earth is this room? Oh my lord. Genuinely have no idea what just happened there. Wait, what? How do we escape this room? Ow. Ow. That was weird. Another glitched heart. Three burn hearts? Y'all kidding me with this shit? This is so powerful. Ooh. I'll at least take parasitoid tears. They're good. Okay, that's that's all she wrote, I think. That's all we're getting. We'll at least go back through here and fill up our HP. Da dang! Right. Got a few friends. Got a bit of damage. We should be fine. We took a hit already, apparently. Didn't see when or where, but we did. I don't really care about being hit at this point. I'm just getting in there. Staying as close as possible to hit all of our shots. Oh, we've got... I didn't realize that was there. Let's, let's just use this. Didn't get hit there, apparently. Don't know how. While we're in this ring, we have Mask Infamy as well, got to remember that. There you go, just blocked three hits in a row. Stay in the ring. We're fine in the ring. Delirium's almost dead anyways. And we get that nice curvy herming too. There you go. Nice and easy. What a brilliant victory that was. Oh, that was such a fun run. Spin down that late into the items that we ended up getting. We didn't really use spin down to get too much, but getting like Incubus, Conjoint, plus Brimstone, all that sort of fun stuff. Hope you guys did enjoy nonetheless, and I'll see you guys in the next one.